Hi there and welcome to Simon Anderson Photography. I'm Simon Anderson, this is my YouTube channel all based on things related to photography. Today we'll, we will be looking at the Photocell uh, 35 by 140 centimeter strip softbox which comes with a honeycomb grid. Uh, it's a S mount as well which you can use it for makes like Bowens. Uh, I will be ordering uh, the softbox Show me, show you me unpackaging it and how to put it all together ready for you to use. Uh, there will be another video a bit later of me using this soft boxes, uh, but Sam's going to give you some details and technical information uh, so you know what comes in the box and how to put it all together. Uh, I'm ordering the full size version, but um, there's also the smaller version, which is 22 by 90 centimeters. Uh, once again, it come, can come with the honeycomb grid, is the S type mount. Uh, but the difference in price isn't that much. For the 35 by 140, it's only £20 more, um, which is £78. Now, I've done some comparisons, uh, looked online. Uh, if you wanted uh, a make like Bowen's, which is a 40 by 140 centimetre, the price difference is quite a bit more. Um, just for the strip soft box, which is £192, uh, and with what they call the egg crate is another £239. So for just for one, it'd be £431 compared to the photo cell, which is £78. Now, if you're like me, if you've got a family and you can't afford to buy all the latest and greatest things, uh, you're obviously looking for a bargain. So that's why I wanted to show you the photo cell uh, and, and test it out and give my opinions on it. Uh, photo cell is a manufacturing online retailer based in Surrey in the UK and they do all sorts of uh, photography studio equipment accessories studio lighting supplies backgrounds light modifiers stands booms tripods etc uh, they're obviously not as established uh, companies like Bowen's but um, for the price difference we'll give it a go and and see what it's like first thing first is we're gonna have to order the softbox I'll get mine from Amazon Oh, that was quick. There we go, there's the box. Wow. Amazon are really quick nowadays, aren't they? So first of all, this is the box it comes in. Just get the standing knife. Be very careful when opening the box because you don't know because there's a lot of fabric in there. And we don't want to cut any of the fabric. So be very, very careful. Mind your fingers. There we go, so this is uh, opening the box. This is the honeycomb grid in its own packaging. Uh, we've got some assembly instructions, photo cell assembly instructions. Uh, this is for the Octagon, well, it's for all different types, just a square rectangular and strip soft box, and the oct octagonal soft box as well. So you get instructions for all the different varieties there, depending on which one you ordered. Here goes the box, so our soft box comes in a nice carry case, which opens at one end, held together by Velcro. Uh, we've got the rods, which is like the skeleton to the strip soft box, which uh, forms the structure. We've got uh, the ring mount, this is, uh, you put this inside the soft box and then your strobe will fit into there, or this will fit onto the strobe. And this is uh, the outer casing of the soft box uh, with the inner and outer diffuser panel. So just open this up, take all this out, just get rid of that. We we'll put these there. Now you're going to need plenty of room to do this because uh, this is quite a big soft box, like I say, it's 35 by 140 centimetres, quite tall. It feels quite good, very good quality. Now, oh, you've got these uh, bits at the back. Just undo the Velcro. Now, I've already read the instructions. This it says to use uh, holes two and three, which I will do. So, you open this way, on the corners, 
where the rods go there should be one with some velcro make sure you know where that one is because you need that for the last there we go that's that one so I know it's there so we put the ring mount in the centre and we get our rods once I get the elastic band off Busted. Now you need to get these the right way round because uh, with these rods you have a thick piece of metal one end and the other end is a thin piece of metal. Now the thick piece goes into the holes in the ring mount like so and they are numbered and it says number two and three for this one. Right there we go. There we go, so I'm going to do this side first, so you put the big side, I'm putting it in slot number two, in there, and then just place the small end into the little hole at that end. Now we know that end's got the velcro and we need to do that last, so I'm going to go to the opposite side. Now when you first get one of these, um, the material's going to be quite rigid and you're going to have to bend the rods. So I put that in there and put that in. Oh. Right, this is why you need to undo these Velcro bits to give you a bit of space to get these rods in. Right, there we go. In, into the velcro there now this is the hard one to forms the shape of the strips off box now what I'm going to do is just slot it through the velcro side first and then put this into the bracket so I'm doing it the opposite way round so then what we do is we just pull that tight and then put that velcro over and this forms the shape of the soft box and then all we could do is put this velcro back on put them nice and tight there we go there's the inside now what I like about these because I've already had a look at I've got two uh, this is the second one. Uh, this has got some side panels. And you spend that it over, it's got some Velcro there to keep it open. It's so handy. So you can put your hand in here and obviously undo the screw where you can find it here, which means you can turn. So if I just hold the bracket, you can turn the modifier to any direction you want and then just tighten it up. and then just put the velcro flat back in place and it stops lights for these. You've got one either side, I think that's fantastic. It's very versatile these. As like I say, you could um, have them uh, vertical, uh, spin them around and have them horizontal as well. So that's the shape. Now, what comes next? We've got two of the diffusers, an inner and outer diffuser. You know, it's just got some clips on. You can see here, you have some sort of uh, little straps, like elasticated straps. And all you do is hook these onto the straps. Oops, get that the right way around. It's a bit fiddly. There we go.
once you've done this a few times it'll become really easy so there we go there's the inner diffuser so when you strobe the bulb inside the flash it hits this it diffuses this and it bounces all around on the silver interior and then we have another outer layer here now this is just stuck on with a velcro edge now what I will say about this if you've got the honeycomb grid because you can buy these without the honeycomb grid and depending on the size it can, it's about 15-20 pounds cheaper without the honeycomb grid but it's well worth the little bit extra to pay now this strip of velcro all around the edge is very thick now with the inner diffuser panel or the outer diffuser panel sorry make sure you put it at the bottom of the velcro on the inner side and the reason for that I'll show you in a minute because I made this mistake when I put the first one up Like I say, this mainly applies if you've got the honeycomb grid because there we go, that's now so it's going to be nice, soft, diffused light. Let's take the honeycomb grid out. There we go. It's a bit fiddly at first, but just have a little play with it, it's all good. So now we've got an end here. Let's put this over here. Now, because we've left the, the outer bit of Velcro, this will now stick to there. Now, just get it all the way round. It doesn't matter if you get it wrong, because you can always unstick bits. There we go, do it like that. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you get it wrong, because you can unstick it and then re-stick it in. There we go. And that's it, it's as easy as that. There we go. Now the thing about the honeycomb grid, it's going to be excellent if you're sort of directing, so you're the camera, so if I'm directing my light at the model or subject this way, it's going to reduce flare into the lens and also give you more directional light so it doesn't just bounce all over the place. So this is excellent. For an extra £20, I say that's great value. Now I'm just going to have to sound the quality. This is going to do exactly what I want it to do. It's really big. I've got two of them. As you can see, this just slots onto, onto your strobe or your strobe goes in there. And then just far away put it on the stand you can rotate it and also what I'm going to show you if I because I do a lot of off-camera strobes well off-camera flash guns more than my strobes I've bought some L brackets so I can use my flash guns with these anyway that's uh, the photo cell this is the 35 by 140 centimeter soft box like I say you can buy it without the honeycomb grid uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video soon of me using these soft boxes to show you uh, what effects they can have uh, but I'm going to have to say for you know for 78 pounds for the soft box with the honeycomb grid it's absolutely fantastic I can't wait to give it a try Plus my daughter wants to come around and say hello, who's normally my model, who models for me anyway. Hello! <laughs> my dad will be doing some pictures of his shots and put them on YouTube as well. 
Okay, so my daughter's going to model for me in the next video. I'm going to do it right here against this wall. I'm going to get both um, my soft boxes set up, uh, probably with my flash guns instead of the strobes. I haven't decided yet. Just going to try some different shots, different effects, and um, see how it turns out. Anyway, thanks for watching my YouTube video. Hope it helps. Hope you like the product. Um, don't forget to subscribe to me. Give me a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter. I also put the link to Amazon for the soft boxes down below and all the information you need. Um, that's it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you later.